Oh, boogie right. man Ben coming round the band is boogie man Ben. Is boogie man Ben. Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends, and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well. Today is a Tales from the Horror Zone episode, another special Tales from the Horror Zone episode. Um, again, I started this series back in 2019. I did three videos that year talking about different items here in the room. I would just pick one at random and just give a little backstory on it. And people seem to like that um, that segment, especially my friend Brandon really liked it. And um, I brought it back for Ghostbusters Afterlife. I showcased a bunch of newer collectibles as well as uh, classic collectibles from the Ghostbusters franchise and the real Ghostbusters cartoon. Um, for today, since we have a brand new Scream film that's going to be coming up, that'll be kind of cool to talk about Ghostface and some of the Scream stuff that I have here. On the but yeah, today's going to be really fun, uh, focusing on Ghostface. Got my Ghostface knife ready to go and uh, got this in the 90s um, because I had the ghost face costume the full thing the full cloak or the the hood and the mask and everything and it was a great costume because I could wear the mask over my glasses uh, that was one thing that was always kind of a drawback for me wearing masks as a kid I started wearing glasses when I was 10 and I needed to wear them all the time when I was about 12 so at that point I couldn't really you know wear masks because it was too hard for me to uh, see without them so um I was like a blind Freddy Krueger <laughs> walking around and uh, um, a blind Jason Voorhees because I couldn't see without my glasses. But yeah, being uh, Ghostface was easy because I could just put the, the mask over um, my face with my glasses because I used to have like wire rim glasses and then I could, just, I could put just put the hood over it so you couldn't see the frames or anything with the with the mask over it. I had that costume for a while. This is the knife that I carried. The costume was awesome and I wore it for a number of years and I still, this is the... The only remnant I have of that costume still is the is the knife, the plastic uh, knife. Had that since the 90s, the late 90s. Um, but Scream was a big part of my 20s, my early 20s. I was already a horror fan when that movie came out. I was a huge Wes Craven fan. Um, and, uh, you know, there wasn't, uh, there was a period of time where the, the horror movies and the horror genre really suffered. So the slasher genre kind of took a header in the... Um, in the 90s it just wasn't the draw that it once was a decade earlier and when scream came along i remember seeing the trailers for it and i had recognized uh, the ghost face costume because i had seen it like in you know like uh, halloween stores and things like that i had seen that 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 costume so i recognized that and i just thought it was really cool and the fact that drew barrymore was going to be in it nev campbell was going to be in it uh two actresses that i knew i didn't watch party of five so i wasn't really big into nev campbell but i knew who she was and drew barrymore i'd had a crush on pretty much my whole life because we're about the same age so she's like a year younger than me so i've always loved drew barrymore and she got really hot in her teen years and that's when i was a teenager and i just had a crush on her and was really excited to see her in this movie. And uh, I still remember going to see the movie when it opened in December of 1996 with my buddy Tori, my friend Tori Jones, um, and I uh, was just blown away. And I saw the movie three times in the movie theater. It actually just kept coming back to the movie theaters around me. So like I saw it like again in like February, and then I saw it again in the summer of 1997. So February 1997, summer of 1997, I saw it. And then I knew that they were making Scream 2. So I was really excited to see Scream 2. So, so Scream 2, you know, it came out in December of 1997. We'd have to wait several years after that one to see Scream 3, which would drop in February of 2000. And then, of course, Scream 4 came out in April, April 15th to be exact, in the year 2011. And I saw all of those films, all of the films I've seen in the movie theater. I can't wait for Scream 5. I can't believe it's been almost 11 years since Scream 4 came out. May Wes Craven rest in peace. I think that uh, the filmmakers and everyone involved with this new film, it sounds like it's going to be awesome from the early buzz. I'm also really excited to do this segment where I talk about some of the Scream and Ghostface memorabilia that I have. Um, some of the stuff is in cases or different areas of the room so i will take the camera around and showcase some of those first things i have i picked up a lot of stuff that like i said was behind shelves or in areas that aren't normally seen in some of my videos or i had them in the horror vault in my office because they are blu-ray and dvd releases um so the first things i'll pick up i'll do some of the figures first and then pick up the blu-rays and dvds and talk about those so the first thing i want to showcase is the horror mystery mini of ghostface and i got this as a christmas present in uh 2014 christmas 2014 i got this one in Hannibal Lecter. Still remember getting those. Yeah, I got him Christmas uh, 2014. The next thing I want to showcase is the Ghostface pop figure that came out also in 2014. Now this was, there was a wave of pop figures that came out. So you had, um, I pre-ordered them through my comp, uh, the comic book store I go to, uh, Flying Colors Comics. So the first wave, it was Chucky, uh, Pennywise, the original Pennywise, the Tim Curry one, uh, Captain Spaulding, of course, the late great uh, Sid Haig, and Billy from Saw. 
Um, so they came out. Then after that, like a little time after that, the Sam Pop came out, Sam from Trick or Treat. And then the final one that came out was uh, Ghostface. And I had pre-ordered them all at the same time, but they just got released in different cycles. But he was the last one I got. And this is actually one that was kind of tucked behind my pop shelf here because I have a shelf full of pop figures and mystery minis. And he was kind of in the back. And I was like going, God, not that I forgot about him, but I'm like going, he's a really cool pop figure. I really like him. Of course, these are the early days. I think if they would have done him now, they'd make the face look a little bit different. They, the sculpts on these things are a lot different now than they were when they were initially released. I feel like they're getting more detailed with some of the pop figures that are coming out. But I really love this guy. And I'm actually going to display him a little bit closer to the front of the shelf because I just think he's really cool. I should get some lights in here or something. I would probably show him off a little bit better. But uh, absolutely love this figure. And happy to bring him out from obscurity in the back of the back of the shelf felt sorry for him uh the other thing i want to showcase is the the they were called mopies i got this one in january of uh, 2017 and uh he's just a sad ghost face uh doesn't have his knife or anything but i uh, just thought he was really kind of adorable uh the other piece i want to showcase that's here on the table next to me is this i got this in K at kmart back in mid september i got this guy and uh, he's really cool. He still works really well. He's a little dusty, but he still, this was all from Scream uh, 4 coming out. And I've showcased him in a few videos. And I actually showcased him in my uh, the last ranking of the Scream franchise that I did, which was back in early 2014. But here, I'll play him for you. Hello, Sydney. You hang up on me and I'll cut through your neck until I feel bone. And from what I understand, this one is really hard to get. I think uh, these things go for a pretty penny, especially this one, because I got three at the time. I got Michael Myers from Rob Zombie's Halloween. I got Freddy and I got him. And I think he goes for the most out of all of them. I also have a Jason one. But yeah, he's he's pretty friggin' awesome. And I'll hit one more thing. Hello, Sydney. Uh, friends count, but it's the family ties that cut deep. And he's very philosophical. So love him. He's an awesome piece. Uh, now to the Blu-rays and the DVDs that I have. Now, I am ashamed to admit I don't have Scream 4 on Blu-ray. I still have it on DVD. But I also have my uh, box set of the Scream franchise. And this is a DVD box set that came out in the summer of 2000. Same year that Scream 3 came out. And this was one that I got at Tower Records. It doesn't exist here in the States anymore. So got the three movies and then you also have it's like a bonus exclusive dvd rom it comes with it. it also has a book that comes with it right there and it was i believe the first box set that i ever got on dvd it's got a little wear on it but uh yeah one of my favorites that i have in my collection still uh the next ones i'm going to showcase now i got these in september i got this in september of uh 2011 again the same year that scream uh four had come out this is the Scream 5 film set. Now this doesn't include Scream 4. It has Scream, Scream 2, Scream 3, and then Still Screaming um, that uh, Ryan Turk directed, and then still and then uh, Scream the Inside Story, um, which I actually thought was a better documentary than Still Screaming. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a really cool set. And we've got a slip case, a little slip cover there. It talks about all the different movies and the documentaries. And then it just has like you just open it up and it's got the individual films. So you got Scream, you got Scream 2, and then you got Scream 3, and then you got the two documentaries. Sorry, this is upside down. There you go, right there. I haven't watched some of these docs in a while. The last time I watched them, I think, was when I first got it. And then I have, of course, have Scream 4. This is just the regular old DVD release of it. Right there. But again, a great movie. And I just rewatched it recently. Um, and I watched the original Scream uh, today. So I'm going to watch uh, Scream 2 and 3. Um, and probably will revisit this one as well. I'd like to watch all of them uh, before I see the new films. So. Because I got this in the mail today, I'll showcase it real quick. It's the new Fangoria. It's got Stab as well as uh, Scream on it. Really, really cool. I love this. And uh, there's some really cool stuff in this one related to the Scream franchise. Um, so we got the Scream Legacy right there. That's really, really cool. Love it. So exciting. Uh, just because I grew up with these films. Just celebrated 25 years since the first film came out, which is really crazy. But uh, yeah, yeah, I can't wait to read this uh, later tonight. So yeah, new Fangoria. Got Stab and Scream on it. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the room and showcase a couple of ghost-faced items that I really just 
didn't want to pick up and move. Uh, one of them's in my display case over there um, just because it's just too much trouble to get to. But uh, stay tuned and uh, I'm going to pick up the camera and we'll go around the room together. So just give me one second. Okay, over here we have the classic uh, Movie Maniacs Ghostface. This one came out in the summer of 1999 and it was part of uh, Series 2. Um, it has the Scream poster with Drew Barrymore. There was another variant of this with regards to the poster. They had some that had, it was like a green Ghostface poster. It just said Ghostface on it. I was trying to get a good angle on it here, but he still has the old classic cell phone from the 90s. See it in his hand right there. And uh, yeah, I love this figure. It's one of my favorites. One of the first horror figures I ever got. I got this right when it came out. So it's been in my collection for over 20 years, 22 years almost, and uh, absolutely love them. Moving over here, I got my Halloween lights. Them right there. And it's weird because they play the Psycho theme, which makes no sense. Yeah, I've had these lights a long time. Um, I believe I got them at Spirit. Again, I got them quite a while ago. And it was some of the first Halloween decorations that we decided to put them in the room late last year since we had the new Scream phone coming out. So moving on from that, I'm gonna go to the Ghostface bobblehead, which is right there. Had him since uh, spring of 2011. He was actually um, showcased in my uh, review of Scream 4. I know it's a very hard to see review because the lighting is so bad, but I got him from House of Mysterious Secrets and uh, yeah, I think he's a pretty, he's a really solid piece and he's got the knife in his hand and really, really cool. A little dusty, but uh, yeah, I love this piece. Absolutely fantastic. From here, we're going to go over here. I have the Scream mask here. That's one of my first masks. That's not the one I used to wear because this was like the one that I used to wear was just the front. It wasn't the actual hood. The hood was separate. And then over here, it's kind of hard to see. I'll do my best to zoom in a little bit. But I got this figure Christmas time with Christmas money in December of 2014. That's the retro cloth uh, ghost face figure from NECA. And then the other ghost face item I have is the reaction figure of ghost face up there on the wall. And I got these in 2014 as well. I have the whole set up there. Hitchcock is the newest one. I got him at Christmas time 2017 from House of Mysterious Secrets. But I have Pinhead Freddy. There's Ghostface. Michael Myers is kind of hidden behind Jack. Sam. Jason. So yeah, I got the whole set of them. I'll do a zoom out so you can see them all up there. But yeah, Ghostface. That one's awesome. Love those figures. Never got Leatherface, so I'm kicking myself for not having him. But uh, yeah, I love that little set of them up there. So right between the Bride of Chucky standee for the uh, Movie Maniacs uh, figures and then this really close-up of Beetlejuice, the Funko Beetlejuice plush, um, you can see the face of the zombie ghost face, which I've had since uh, before Scream 4 came out in 2011. So we're going on over almost 11 years that I've had this figure. And I had the regular version of it too, but I already had the Movie Maniacs one, which I liked better. And uh, I ended up selling that one. But this one I really liked. And when Scream 4 came out, I kept thinking there would be a zombie version of the character or a zombie mask that the character would wear. And that didn't happen, but I uh, still love this figure. He's just kind of buried back there in the display case. So that's going to be it, fellow fiends. I hope everyone enjoyed this ghost face or scream edition of Tales from the Horror Zone, uh, showcasing some awesome, you know, ghost face and scream collectibles here in the room. Uh, let me know what your favorite one was. Uh, let me know if you have any of these items. Uh, let me know if you're looking forward to the new film. Uh, I can't wait to see uh, Scream 5 uh, a few more days and it'll be upon us. I'm actually planning on doing a review of that film that I'm planning to have it drop on the 15th. Uh, of this month so I'm gonna try to shoot it and edit it and everything the night I see it and then I'm also going to be doing a ranking that I'll probably post over the weekend a ranking of all five Scream films uh, the last time I did one of those 
We're going back to 2014, and uh, it's been a long time since I ranked the films. The rankings still hold um, that I did in those video in that video um, in January of 2014. So it'll be interesting to see if Scream Five uh, moves, you know, moves any of the movies. If it becomes my favorite, it becomes my least favorite. Yeah, just really excited to see the film. And uh, thanks so much, everyone, for dropping by, talking about one of my favorite horror franchises, Scream one of my favorite horror characters, that being Ghostface. So thanks so much everyone for dropping by. Hope everyone's doing well. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace. Fright Fiends, just want to say thank you again for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you're brand new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I typically do this once or twice a week with new content. Uh, I've been doing this for over 11 years and the horror genre is a passion of mine and it really means a lot to me that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support and I'll talk to you again later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Thanks.